Election 2016 is coming to a close as it approaches 8 p.m. in Washington, D.C. Voters have been coming out all day, and students have showed up in large numbers to cast their ballots. I'm here at Washington Metropolitan High School where the polls just closed at 8 p.m. Some voters are still trickling out, and we're just stopping them to see how their voting experience was. I'm a first time voter, so to have my experience here at Howard, it was kind of bittersweet because it took me six hours to finally get to the ballot. And once I got there, there was still a lot of time that I had to take and wait in order to make my vote, but I finally did, so. Um, but yeah, it's my first time vo voting, and uh, I felt like it was just really long. Um, I, I felt like they didn't have enough workers um, for you know this highly populated area. So um, that's one thing I would change if they could have you know more workers. That would definitely get me to you know vote you know in the next election. Because after today, I'm just like uh, I don't know if I want to do it the next time, or maybe you know next time I would do the absentee ballot, and so that would be you know faster. As the polls close, election results are rolling in. We hope to know who the next president is by some point tonight. We will know once the electoral votes hit 270. For Howard University News Service, I'm Cassidy Sparks.